second video for Crescent Creations Arts and Crafts Store. I am um, doing a fall card and I am using the Sunny Studio Harvest Mice that is in the store if you would like to purchase. I will leave a shortcut in the description box with the information to where you can purchase these in her shop. Um, here you will see that I decided to go ahead and stamp my sentiment first to make sure that I did have that in the correct position so when I would put my mice or glue my mice down that it would not cover the um, title so here you'll see me do that um, I don't know what I would do without my stamp positioner because sometimes I do not get a really good stamp when I first stamp it and it's nice to be able to have it to go back and do it again in case you do not get a good um, stamp You just see, I used a little um, cup thing you set your cups on to um, kind of rub it across there to make sure I did get a good print. Okay, here I did go ahead and prep my card and get most of the coloring done beforehand to speed up the process so the video would not be so long. I did kind of fussy cut all of the mice. Um, myself however these this stamp set I do believe comes with die cuts with it um, I believe they were out of stock but keep checking back um, I'm sure they'll be in the store soon they are so stinking cute um, I had fun creating this little card and I love fall and fall is my favorite time of the year so this was perfect Here you'll see me, I kind of fiddle around with it to make sure I get it where I wanted it to while the glue was still wet. Okay, I did get that placed. Next I will glue on the pumpkin. I kind of want to make it look like it was falling out of the wheelbarrow, like the little mouse was dumping the pumpkins. And here you'll see me do the same thing. I kind of mess around with it until I get it to where I want it while the glue was still wet. Then here comes the baby pumpkin. I did the same thing with this. Again, I want the pumpkins to look like they were falling out of the wheelbarrow. And then I go to the next larger pumpkin and do the same thing for it. Then I go for the little red wagon to place it near the wheelbarrow and the pumpkin to give it the appearance that the pumpkins are being dumped into the little red wagon. And again, you'll see me here play with it a little bit until I get it in the position that I want it. This one was a little harder for me trying to get the wagon in there to get the correct spacing that I want it to have. And you'll see my wagon was just a little crooked there. I straightened it up. Now I'm going to put on the next cute little mouse. I just place him there in front of the red wagon. And 
And then my favorite is this little guy here that I'm placing on the card. Here's a little pumpkin with the little mouse ears. So stinking cute. I thought that was so adorable. Once I get everything placed and glued down like I like, I did use the Crescent Creations paper that is in the shop. It is like the most awesome paper ever. It is a very good quality, guys, and I really, really liked it. It made a great card base. Um, it's very, very nice, so it is really good paper. I would recommend you to check it out in the shop and purchase if you do get a chance. I was really impressed with the paper and the colors are so, so vibrant. But that is my second video um, using the Harvest Mice and I will leave all the information in the description box for you below. And guys, thanks for coming to my channel and thanks for watching. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.